Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Drumal Manik. So as I said in the previous video in which we discussed about the external carotid artery, a brief introduction about the external carotid artery and its various branches in anterior, medial, posterior and terminal divisions. Right. So firstly as I said we will discuss about each and every artery separately, the branches of external carotid artery. So starting with the anterior division. So the first artery in the anterior division of external carotid artery was which one? Superior thyroid artery, right? You guys, I hope so. You guys remember the mnemonic: she likes friends always over mother, father, and mama, papa, and sister, right? I hope so. You guys are aware of that mnemonic. And if you have not watched the video of external carotid artery, I would suggest you to watch that video first and then continue with this. Video. So starting with superior thyroid artery, superior thyroid artery is a branch of anterior division of external carotid artery, right? Now this superior thyroid artery will be given just below the level of greater cornua of hyoid bone. This is your greater cornua of hyoid bone. So just below the level of greater cornua of hyoid bone, your superior thyroid artery will be given see I am making dots over the superior thyroid artery so you guys can differentiate see the dotted one red color is your main superior thyroid artery the highlighted one so this superior thyroid artery from where it will be given from the level just below the greater corner of hyoid bone just remember this as a story it will be easy for you guys to Mug up, right? So, just below the level of greater corner of hyoid bone, it will be given as a branch of external carotid artery and it is going to run parallel to the external laryngeal now, which now external laryngeal now ke saath wo parallelly run karegi. Now, the relationship of external laryngeal now with superior thyroid artery is very much important because the superior thyroid artery and the external laryngeal now are going to run parallelly now just before reaching the lobe upper lobe of thyroid gland this external laryngeal now is going to deviate from superior thyroid artery and it is going to continue its own course and superior thyroid artery will continue forward so a point aega jahan pe superior thyroid artery and external laryngeal now are not going to be parallel to each other dekho external laryngeal now will deviate medially and this will continue downwards so whenever in the cases of thyroid surgeon if the surgeon wants to ligate the superior thyroid artery he can ligate just he has to ligate just near the as much as near possible to the thyroid gland because at that point there is only solely superior thyroid artery present there is no external laryngeal now running together with the superior thyroid artery so this is the point you guys need to remember ki upper lobe ke just pass mein ligate karna hai superior thyroid artery ko because there is only solely superior thyroid artery present over there now so apart from the main superior thyroid artery it has given its three branches now the three branches of superior thyroid artery are which one first one is your sternocleidomastoid branch second one is your superior laryngeal artery and third is your cricothyroid branch kon kon si hai sternocleidomastoid branch superior laryngeal artery and cricothyroid branch so firstly we will discuss about the sternocleidomastoid branch it is much simple it is going to supply the sternocleidomastoid muscle next is your superior laryngeal branch so this superior laryngeal branch is going to run parallel to the internal laryngeal now the main superior thyroid artery thi wo kiske sath run kar rahi thi with external laryngeal now the uh, superior laryngeal artery is going to run along the internal laryngeal now it is going to supply the thyroid membrane and supply the further parts of the thyroid cartilage right now the last branch is the cricothyroid branch so this is the last branch of superior thyroid artery which will go till the in front of cricovocal membrane cricovocal membrane ke just samne ja ke it is going to end and it is going to merge with the artery of opposite side jo opposite side ki same external carotid artery rahegi uski branches rahegi तो सामने वाली जो क्रिकोथायरॉइड ब्रांच होती है उसके साइड जाके इट इज गोइंग टू एनास्टोमो सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट सुपीरियर थायरॉइड आर्टरी विल रिकॉल वंस अगेन ब्रांच ऑफ एक्सटर्नल कैरोटिड आर्टरी गिवन जस्ट बिलो द लेवल ऑफ ग्रेटर कॉर्नो ऑफ हायरॉइड बोन इट विल रन फॉरवर्ड पैरेलल विद द एक्सटर्नल लैरिंजल नर्व जस्ट बिफोर रीचिंग द थायरॉइड ग्लैंड द एक्सटर्नल लैरिंजल नर्व इज गोइंग टू डीविएट 
there will only be superior thyroid artery solely present so you have to ligate the artery as much as close to the thyroid gland so there is no injury to the external laryngeal now three branches con con si hai sternocleidomastoid branch superior laryngeal artery and cricothyroid branch so this is all about superior thyroid artery i hope you guys understood and if you enjoyed the video then please like share and subscribe our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get regular updates of our upcoming lectures thank you